In this video, we are going to try to lay out the process or the best process that we can come up with at this point in time for how to receive parts into Lizzie and move them into the different parts of the dealership or the warehouse uh, with the least amount of effort. So as we go through this process, we'll kind of list out the different areas of the dealership that we think need to, to have some type of focus and then what we think uh, might be a, a workable solution uh, to handle each of those processes. So to get started, let's talk a little bit about what areas are in the dealership that we need to be focused on. Uh, the first area is our inventory. So depending on your setup, you may or may not have inventory in the warehouse, for example, uh, depending on whether you ship everything or whether you actually have things there that you're, that you're ordering ahead of time. But the inventory shelves are uh, an area in the dealership or in the warehouse that need to be focused on separately from the the shipping and the the hold for shipping areas so our next section that that we recognize is the shipping area itself and this would be a staging area that we may put parts just before the the shippers actually pull them to to uh, send them out the door um, in addition to the shipping area, you also have a hold for shipping area that you put parts that are uh, not in, in your inventory that you're having to special order uh, to get them in from the vendor so that you, or the supplier so that you can turn around and ship them to the customer. So it would be parts where you had a customer order more than one item or an item that you didn't have in stock that you had to order. And so the the idea here is that with those three separate sections and and really two that are going to come into play here um, we need a way to be able to receive a purchase order as quickly as possible get the items to where they need to go without having to process them twice um, so now what we're going to do is add a little bit of complexity to this image by saying that we also support uh, dealership one and dealership two. So these are additional locations that we have that we also supply parts to or perhaps move inventory back and forth from. And each of them could potentially have each of these areas within them as well. So the, you can see that the, the processes here can get pretty complicated um, where we're having to move this inventory for in, into different places. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that we're receiving a purchase order with 200 parts in it. And of those 200 parts, we have uh, allocated bins. These could be carts that we can roll around, which would be ideal, um, with big buckets on them that we can put the, the parts into uh, to hold them or stage them before we actually put them physically in the, in the shelves or wherever they need to go. Um, and then we have our box with all of our parts on it. Now, depending on what industry you're in, there's going to be different processes for how to best receive the, the purchase order. Uh, if your parts all have barcode labels on them, you could scan the, the, bar, the, the barcode on the box and let Lizzie print the barcode for her inventory management processes um, one at a time. Um, in the OPE industry, there's a, most of the orders don't have barcodes on them. So you would end up having to hand type all of the part numbers. And in that environment, uh, typically what dealers do is actually go in and receive the purchase order based on the invoice itself. Go ahead and update the prices and everything and, and receive the order in full. Print out all the barcodes at one time and then peel off the barcodes and stick them on the parts and, and go through it in that way. So it really, um, there is no one best practice for dealing with the actual receiving process. Um, but the idea here is that as I'm receiving the parts, whether I'm scanning them or whether I'm uh, hand typing them or whether I'm doing them all at once, as I'm putting the barcode label on the part, the barcode label itself is going to tell me what the location is and also the type of order it is. So as an example, if this is an internet order and it's my location, then I would know that it needs to go into the ship box. If it's a stocking and it's my location, it needs to go in the inventory box. And if it's anything else, any other location, then it would just go in the location box for whatever supporting locations we have. So we're not really 
at our level, we're not concerned with the exact location. That's something the dealership would deal with when the parts actually arrive. So the idea for us in the, in the warehouse as this example, um, we're more interested in keeping our inventory and shipping uh, orders separate or the parts separate so that we can then push our cart into the inventory section, put those parts up into inventory and push the cart for shipping over to the shipping area or the hold for shipping area um, to, to be able to get those put up. Now, we fully recognize the fact that it's possible that you would have parts that are the order is fulfilled in full when these parts arrive. But to keep things simple, instead of trying to deliver those directly to shipping, it still makes sense to just put them all in hold for shipping in our uh, red bins, if you're practicing the, the red bin, blue bin process. Um, red bin being the parts that we had to order and the blue bins, the ones that we had in stock that we can ship out directly and immediately. Um, it still makes sense to go into the red bin because you did have to order them to get them into the dealership to begin with or into the warehouse. So when those parts arrive, they go into the hold for shipping. And then at that point, the parts are then pulled out of the, the shipping area, the hold for shipping area and moved over to the, the shipping staging area to actually have them put into the boxes and, and the labels put on them and, and shipped out. So the idea here is to try to come up with the, the best possible process for getting the parts out of the box and into the, the specific locations without having to do a lot of scanning and a lot of uh, reviewing the parts more than one time. Uh, unfortunately, you do have to, to pull the part out of the box, put it in the shipping area or the inventory area, and then you're going to have to pull it out of the inventory area to put it where it goes. But the, the nice thing at that point is that the labels are already on the parts. You know exactly where they need to go. And if for some reason they get put down somewhere that, that we've lost it or it got put in the wrong area, the, the part itself will tell us where it needs to go because it does have the, the Lizzie barcode label on, on the part as it arrived.